In Moby Dick, Melville writes, But though the world scouts at us whale hunters, yet does it unwittingly pay us the profoundest homage. Yea, an all-abounding adoration, for almost all the tapers, lamps, and candles that burn round the globe burn as before so many shrines to our glory. In the first half of the 19th century, people lit their lamps with whale oil. At the height of production in the 1840s, America was importing tens of millions of gallons, and whales were hunted to the very brink of extinction. As whales became scarce, whale oil became too expensive to simply burn. By the end of the 19th century, new oils, like camphene and kerosene, had replaced it. People still used whale oil to lubricate guns and sewing machines and bicycles, but in the 20th century, whale hunting was finally banned, and whale oil was no longer available. Today I want to try an experiment to better understand how people lived in the 18th and 19th centuries. I have here a bottle of whale oil from the 1890s. This is Nye oil. It was produced by William F. Nye in New Bedford, Massachusetts. You may remember from the wonderful opening chapters of Moby Dick that New Bedford was the very center of the whaling industry. I am going to open this bottle and use the oil to fuel a lamp and we will find out, after 130 years, can it still make light? It is burning perfectly clean. This is a perfect flame. <laughs> 